Joining me now is Hawaii Democratic Senator Maisie Hirono. She is a member of the Judiciary Committee. Senator, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Do you think the attorney general's presser today was a signal from the Biden administration that uh, voting rights legislation won't pass the Senate? Or do you think it, it might be premature to make that conclusion? Well, I think it's the Attorney General recognizing that they have a job to do to protect, uh, uh, to make sure that uh, our voting rights are protected under the existing statutes, what's left uh, of the Voting Rights Act. So he's doing his job, and, and I'm thankful. It is a breath of fresh air that we have an AG who cares about our right to vote. So what do you think the chances are of voting rights passing the Senate then? Put that aside for a moment what the attorney general is doing from the institution in which you serve. How do you think it is playing out so far? It's not looking so good, sadly. Um, and uh, you know, this is why, as far as I'm concerned, we need to eliminate the filibuster. But one of our own, two of our people are not uh, on the Democratic side, are not in favor of that. And we have Joe Manchin, who has already said that he is not supporting S-1, which is the, the bill that would protect our right to vote, among so many other elements. As you've probably heard, there's been just uh, some recent comments uh, following this investigation into the subpoenaing of documents and records belonging to members of Congress. Do you share the frustration uh, that this current Biden Department of Justice is not sharing enough information with members of Congress? Should they be doing more and, and telling members of Congress more about what was actually asked under the previous administration, what was sought? I would say that that is what the IG investigation that has been called for by uh, this attorney general and his deputy uh, that is uh, intending to, to uh, uncover. So that process should occur. And I would like the attorney general to inform us when that process is completed. How do you it's clear to me that there was an abuse of power uh, in, in these subpoenas by the previous administration. But to that extent, are you at all or do you share the frustration that an investigation was announced uh, only after the New York Times report was published and not before? I think we can you know, possibly quibble about that, but I'm just glad that as soon as the investigation or the report came out that they very quickly moved to ask for an IG investigation. Uh, obviously, as I mentioned, you're a member of the Judiciary Committee, the chair of which Dick Durbin has now called for both attorneys, uh, General Bill Barr and Jeff Sessions to testify. What would you want to learn from their testimony and what happens if they appear but stonewall questions as they have in the past? First of all, I would like them to testify, and if they do not do so voluntarily, then they should be subpoenaed. And if they choose to stonewall, then, then we need to follow uh, the remedies that uh, go with uh, stonewalling Congress. But first of all, I think that, that this kind of, uh, of hearing should occur. My hope is that the former attorney generals will testify as part of their uh, sense of responsibility to the positions they held and to our country.